to uh, Providence Park, Portland Thorns Cam. At the start of Good Day Oregon at 4.30, we had a shower passing right over Providence Park. At this time, I'm not seeing any rain, and that's basically how today is going to play out west of the Cascades. A passing shower will come through, then you'll uh, see some dry time, then another shower, and things will uh, turn a little heavier later on today with the help of some daytime heating. We do have some showers east of the Cascades, kind of a steadier rain passing over the Oregon-Idaho border, but it's a bit more active west of the Cascades. In fact, we do have some isolated thunderstorms developing right offshore, and that's kind of a foreshadowing initially for the coastline later this morning. You can see some downpours and isolated thunderstorms, and more of that activity will work its way inland this afternoon. We're in the 40s and 50s out there, but more in the 40s in the higher elevations, sun, like such as the Sunset Rest Area, and government camp. Uh, most of the lowlands are starting off in the 50s this morning. A live look from our Shiloh Winds camera in Seaside. Looks like it's dry out there right now. Surfaces are wet, but it's not actively raining. But showers will continue to move on shore from time to time, along with some isolated thunderstorms. It's also going to be windy at times, especially tonight. Uh, around midnight, we're going to see that wind ramp up. Temperatures will end up in the low to mid 60s, mid 60s in our western valleys this afternoon with showers and sun breaks and isolated thunderstorms are possible. Going to be pretty breezy with the south wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Not too windy in the gorge though, where highs will end up in the mid to upper 60s. Expect a wetter day on the west end of the gorge than the east end of the gorge. We have a cool and showery day on tap for the Mount Hood area. We'll only hit about 40 at Timberline. Upper 40s at Government Camp and upper 50s in the foothills. In central and eastern Oregon, we're tracking some scattered showers this morning. If we do see showers this afternoon, it'll mainly be up to the north end of the east. Otherwise, expect partly cloudy skies with highs in the upper 50s and 60s. So overnight, we're going to have some wind picking up along with another shot of rain transitioning to scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms tomorrow. A few showers will linger into Thursday. I think the end of the week is going to be dry and not too bad this weekend with some morning fog, afternoon sunshine, mid to upper 60s, and even some low 70s. By Monday afternoon and evening, I think another uh, weather system will start to move back in. Tony?